Madonna fan in wheelchair defends her after being told to stand up. She had no idea I was paralyzed. Madonna faced criticism after singling out a concert goer for not standing during her celebration tour. The fan, Vanessa Gorman, who uses a wheelchair, has now revealed that she was not offended and appreciated Madonna's quick apology. Last week, social media erupted with users condemning Madonna's actions, emphasizing the various valid reasons for sitting at a concert. Despite the controversy, Madonna continues her world tour, reflecting on her past health scare and sharing poignant moments from her recovery journey. Madonna fan in a wheelchair says she was not offended after being told to stand up. During a recent concert on her celebration tour, Madonna caused a stir when she singled out a concert goer for not standing up. In the viral video, which was shared on TikTok, the 65-year-old singer paused her performance to ask, what are you doing sitting down over there? What are you getting sitting down? After realizing the situation and her mistake, Madonna quickly apologized, stating, Oh, okay. Politically incorrect. Sorry about that. I'm glad you are here, she added, as she resumed her performance at the center of the stage. In an interview with TMZ, the woman Madonna singled out, Vanessa Gorman, expressed that she was not offended, stating, some people are in wheelchairs and can stand. She had no idea I was paralyzed. Surprisingly, Gorman wasn't bothered by the attention and even screamed her love for the singer in response. Despite the initial mix-up, Gorman appreciated Madonna's quick apology, acknowledging it was likely an unintentional mistake. Social media users blast Madonna for calling out sitting fan during concert. Following Madonna's remarks at her concert, the incident garnered widespread attention on social media, with fans lambasting the celebrity for her comments. Many criticized Madonna's questioning as insulting, asserting that it's not her place to dictate why someone might choose to sit during a show. One person emphasized, Ma'am, there are 100 reasons why someone might sit and all of them are valid. Another said, I hope the fan wasn't too hurt and embarrassed by this and could still enjoy the concert. Another fan highlighted the physical limitations some concert goers may face, noting, Also, some people cannot physically stand for an entire concert. Like maybe they just want to vibe to the music. It doesn't matter if it's Madonna, T.S., Zach Bryan, or Drake. Let people enjoy a concert. A fourth person shared a personal experience, stating, I have a back injury. I don't require a wheelchair. I need to sit down sometimes. I can be embarrassed about my invisible injury. If I was called out about it like this... The shame would kill me. Another said, I went to a concert a couple of months after going through surgery and chemo and couldn't stand the whole time. I would have been mortified to be called out like this. The singer recounts her near-death experience. It's hard on me emotionally. Recently, during her concert in Los Angeles, Madonna candidly reflected on her harrowing health scare from last year, where she battled lung and kidney failure and was placed in a medically induced coma. Despite the near-death experience, the four-minute singer remains resilient in putting on show-stopping performances for her fans. She shared her emotional journey with her audience, saying, This show every night is not really so hard on me physically. It's hard on me emotionally because I'm really telling you the story of my life. Madonna added, My heart is on my sleeve. I've fallen off a lot of horses and broken a lot of bones, but nothing can stop me. She revealed her first word after a four-day coma was no. During the performance, the legendary singer shared a poignant moment from her recovery after waking from a four-day coma, recalling how her first word allegedly was no. She interpreted it as a defiance against death, stating, I'm pretty sure that was God saying to me, do you want to come? Want to come up with me? To which she replied, no. Interestingly, one of her doctors from that ordeal was present in the audience, prompting the La Isla Bonita singer to reflect on the challenging recovery journey after leaving the hospital. She reminisced about his guidance and support during the challenging post-hospitalization phase, highlighting his instrumental role in her recovery journey.
Madonna's celebration tour spans her illustrious 40-year career. As Madonna continues her celebration world tour, she's captivating audiences in stadiums worldwide with a retrospective journey spanning her illustrious 40-year career. Collaborating with creative director Louis James and musical director Stuart Price, the material girl icon delivers a visually stunning spectacle honoring her musical evolution. The singer has since managed to put on a stunning show since the start of the tour, incorporating a special Vogue ballroom section where she brings celebrity guests on stage to join her in scoring the performance of her dancers. Celebrities such as Julia Garner, Donatella Versace, FKA Twigs, Diplo, RuPaul's Drag Race, Star Aquaria, and more have all graced Madonna's stage. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like comment to help us out.